Hello, we Dan's are back and we're happy to tell you about the uh, new legislative session. There's a lot of uh, energy in the building right now, especially among Democrats with a, uh, a new Democratic governor. Uh, Democrats picked up seats in the House um, and they've maintained a majority in the Senate also. Uh, I'm Dan McCam, a reporter for the Albuquerque Journal. I'm here with my colleague Dan Boyd, also at the Journal Capital Bureau. And uh, it's been a pretty crazy first week already. There was, uh, even before the session started, there were uh, budget proposals coming out and reports coming out. And then on Tuesday, we had new members sworn in. And then immediately, uh, Michelle Lujan Grisham delivered her first State of the State address as uh, governor of New Mexico. And one of the interesting things that we noticed is that, uh, you know, this was her second speech in two weeks, her second major speech after her inauguration, and we heard a few different things. Um, so, Dan, what, what kinds of uh, differences did you notice in the two speeches? Any surprises? Well, I think she got, she got into more details um, in the State of the State Address. Um, we really talked a lot about her budget and especially about how much uh, of the new money that's available will be going to education, at least under her proposal. And, uh, that includes you know, pay raises for teachers, uh, a lot of more money for pre-kindergarten programs, um, you know. But, but as you mentioned, I think the big thing that was just the kind of different energy in the building, obviously for Democrats after uh, eight years under a Republican governor, I think they were very excited to have some of these issues kind of on the table and, and being uh, brought forward. But there were also some, you know, issues we didn't hear in the, um, in the governor's speech that, um, you know, we thought that uh, might come up and didn't, so I, that might be kind of a sign of what's to come as well. Yeah, I felt like the tone was a bit different. Um, in particular, uh, you know, we had a copy of the governor's prepared remarks, and she went off the script much more than um, some uh, politicians do. She uh, was comfortable ad-libbing, making jokes. She kind of let her personality shine through a bit. Um, we also heard some new policy proposals. Um, that she had not mentioned uh, in the inauguration. I think she mentioned several firearms uh, issues. She may push some gun control legislation. Uh, obviously, that would be a, a, a distinct contrast from the previous governor, uh, Republican Susana Martinez, who uh, uh, was not in favor of new restrictions on gun ownership or possession and that kind of thing. Um, anything else that, that you heard? Yeah, the... I thought one thing that was interesting she didn't mention in her speech was uh, the push to, to legalize recreational marijuana, um, which a lot of uh, progressive Democrats have really been advocating for in recent years. Uh, not to say that that's not going to happen or that it won't be proposed, but uh, it seemed like maybe that won't be on one of her, her top priorities, at least that it wasn't mentioned in the speech. Um, but now we're kind of, that kind of really kicks off the session, and now we're kind of... Uh, getting back into the grind again a little bit. I think next week committee, committees will start meeting. Um, we're going to see start legislation start moving, start being deba debated in some of these committees, and there's going to be a lot of bills. It's going to be a, a lot to keep up with. So One of the early controversies, in fact, is a, a slate of bills. Um, on the Senate side, they're calling it the rocket docket. There are maybe two dozen of them, and these are proposals that have passed in previous sessions overwhelmingly sometimes unanimously, uh, but been vetoed by the governor. And uh, senators are trying to uh, move them quickly. They're getting fewer, you know, just one committee assignment rather than multiple committees so that they can move faster. Um, but that's already turning out to be a source of controversy. Um, uh, t tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, and, and they're doing the same thing on the House side. I, I know there's some Republican uh, legislators who are saying that that's not really fair to the new members, and there are more than 20 new members in the legislature this year um, to kind of fast track these bills without really thoroughly vetting them in committee. Um, the governor, uh, Governor Lujan Grisham, did say, you know, bring on the rocket docket. She's ready for it. Uh, but it seems like not quite everyone's on board. And there may be, you know, uh, a few more complaints along the way, a few bumps, a little turbulence there trying to uh, get these through um, and to the governor's desk here in the next week or two, which is, you know, a lot faster than usual for a 60-day session. Right, so we will probably start seeing some bills uh, really start to move next week. Committee hearings will be up and running, um, and we're going to be you know, moving pretty fast into this session. Uh, I also just wanted to say thank you for rejoining us again for a new year here at the legislature. Um, we Dance always appreciate the support. Um, uh, anyone who, can, who reads our stories or subscribes to the newspaper or supports local journalism in any way, we really appreciate that. Uh, so we hope you'll follow us this session. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's good to be back, and it's going to be a wild ride. We look forward to uh, bringing you all the news here from the Roundhouse.